I'm Android Jones. We are at the Renwick Gallery in Washington, D.C. I've been going to Burning Man since 2003 for every year. The work that I create and the way that I create work and why I create work, like so much of that, is the genesis of those experiences um, and all the amazing art that I've seen and all the incredible artists that have really deeply uh, impacted me in my journey. Like my, the work that I create wouldn't look like it does if it wasn't for that, that influence. I have, a, I have a background, like an academic background of drawing and painting before I ever kind of went digital. I got kind of wake on in like 96 was when I made like a conscious swerve into that direction. Uh, but I'm still really in love with traditional media. So I'm an artist that uh, really focuses and works on delivering experiences. I really focus on making work that is accessible to anyone, to, that, that can cross any demographic or age group or, or, or genre. I found that what makes that experience, what gives that experience like more depth and more value, it really centers around the experience that I'm having while I'm creating the piece. Sometimes I think in my mind, it's like, a, it's like assembling like a whole army of content. You know, like a painting is like a battleground sometimes. Like I'm fighting myself, I'm fighting my expectations, I'm fighting my doubts or my fears or um, fighting the clock. For this show, we've selected six pieces and um, we've got a, a VR experience that's available in two, two different pods within the room. Um, they're based off the geometry of a dodecahedron. We realized that if you're going to do VR in public spaces, um, for a lot of people their first time, uh, it was really important to establish you know, the the individual's canvas of experience and make that something that they felt comfortable in. There are certain threads that weave between some of these paintings and the experience. I'd like to see, I'd like to think that there's kind of a, a longer stroke that encompasses them together. You know, like some pieces are like mirrors, you know, they reflect different aspects of ourselves. I'd like to think in some of the pieces there's keys in there. Um, you know, we've got a bunch of different locks inside and maybe when someone stares at this this piece there just might be something that creates a bit of an opening or an understanding. There's so much chaos and spontaneity in it that a lot of these pieces I really invite the viewer to make up their own meaning when they see these. I think the meaning that someone creates from a piece is uh, uh, statistically more powerful than any kind of narrative that I want to uh, to put out there.